What is going on, everybody? This is Pothead here, I'm back with another one. Um, kind of got the the bug back to make videos, so good for you guys. And I know, I know, you saw the title. But Pothead, you've already made three fucking first videos about doing perks, blah blah blah. First off, only did one about perk thirties, and that was popping them. This is snorting them, which is a whole different ball game. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Podhead. No, that's all out of the way. Public disclaimer, don't snort anything, especially not Percocet. And if you already do um, have the vice of these pills, don't start snorting them because that's a super easy way to make your intake go up much faster than you want to. And it's just, it doesn't last as long. So you keep craving and craving and shit. No fun. Now that that's out of the way, let's get right into the story. This is probably a couple months after I had done my first Percocet, and I honestly didn't even know that snorting them was like a viable option until I went to LA and I saw all my friends in LA snorting them, and I was like, huh. Because at this point, I was still either taking like a quarter or just putting one in a soda and drinking that throughout the day, which, by the way, is still my favorite method ever. Best way to conserve, go vibes. I'm in LA, I'm seeing everyone snorting powder. I'm like, is that Coke? They're like, no. Is that Xanax? No. It's perk. I was like, whoa, what the fuck? And when I would pull up with my little perk in a soda, they'd be like, what the fuck? I ain't never seen no one do that. And I'm like, I've never seen anyone snort them. It's, it's different strokes for different folks. I think a lot of it kind of depends on where you grow up and shit and the type of people you're around. I'm back in Colorado. I'm at a party with my homies. We're, um, you know, smoking, doing that shit. At this point, I think I was the only one with any perks left. I remember I had like three quarters of a 30. I was like, man, I want to make this last. I assumed that snorting them would make it last more because I was taking like a knife and cutting off little like pieces and like breaking it down into a powder. So it was like more quote unquote, like I, in my brain, I thought it was more. I remember taking a quarter, breaking the quarter in half and then taking that eighth, grinding into a powder in the bathroom and snorting it. And immediately I was like, boom. It was like that scene in fucking Lucy, you know, when she first gets the drugs in her system and her eyes go like crazy and shit. That's how I felt. I walk out of the bathroom, I get to scene tone, I'm like, yo, you gotta try this. So I break him down the other eighth, and he's like, I literally remember this so perfectly. The first thing he says to me, I was like, how'd you like it? He's like, well, I wanna do more. And I was like, yeah, me too. So me and him just go to the bathroom as nonchalantly as possible because we rolled up with like five people and there was no fucking way I was sharing with all of them. We go in the bathroom. I break the fucking half and half, break the quarter and a half, give him an eighth. I take an eighth. Boom, boom, boom. Sort that shit. We finish it up. I'm putting the dollar bill away and shit. And I like, we both like look at each other and we're like, just like nod. <laughs> just break out the other fucking quarter, break it in half, and boom. That was our entire fucking... It was supposed to last me. I was going to do that qu a quarter of it at the party and do a half the next day. Gone. All gone within like 20 minutes just because I had fucking snorted them immediately. But <laughs> so, yeah, after that, we walked out of the party, and I just remember vibing, bro. I'm talking about, like, music had never sounded so good. The fucking chips I was snacking on had never tasted so good. Fucking everything was funny and shit. Like, it was crazy, bro. It was really, like, I think what got me so much about it is it was what I had thought doing cocaine would be like. People hype cocaine up so much, and then I did it, like, really good coke, and I was like, wow, this is fucking awful, and I want to do more 10 minutes later which is pretty similar with um, Oxy. But when you do it for your first time, that shit lasts a pretty good amount, especially because I was really only doing like a quarter at a time at this point or, you know, putting a whole one in a soda and splitting with someone and drinking it throughout the day. So that was, let me see, three quarters would be 22 and a half, so it'd be 11.2. Yeah, so doing 11.2 um, milligrams like in 20 minutes was pretty, you know, unheard of for me at that point. So I was definitely feeling it. I was, uh, I hesitate to say one of the best times I've had, but on this drug, but it was definitely up there. I mean, it's a really, really dangerous, slippery slope, instantaneously addicting for sure. Kind of how like how cocaine is just because I think it has something to do with how it goes into your bloodstream with how it, because your blood circulates faster than if you just digest it. That's why it goes in and out so much quicker, I think. I'm not a scientist, so don't don't get on my ass about that. Finish up at the party. I remember just being, I usually, 
hate nicotine and shit, but I always remember finding everyone's jewels, fucking hitting that shit. This was back when you'd still be able to find, like, mango pods and shit. And nowadays, I won't even fucking touch a jewel. But, yeah, I, I was tripping, like, going around. I just remember fucking smoke. We brought, or I think I brought, somehow we had, like, pretty much, like, an ounce of weed between all five of us. And we were just sitting, this party was outside of this homie's house. And we were going, like, inside of the bathroom to the perks. But now we didn't have any perks. So we were just outside, chilling, just smoking so much weed. I'm talking about, like, me and Cinto would take fucking turns, just boom, boom, rolling up shit. Back to back. Crazy style. And, uh, oh, shit, I almost forgot. We also had Zans. This was back when I was, um, well, I don't sell drugs, never did sell drugs, but I had a lot of Scripps Xanax at this point. So we had quite a few Zans, and we were, I don't know what it is about fucking snorting perks, if any of you in the comments are like this too, but it just makes you want to, like, do everything, bro. I'm talking about, like, the high is never enough, which is the main reason I try to tell people never fucking do that shit. It is such, for one, a waste. For two, dangerous. For three, just like, if I had the opportunity to go back to this day and not do it, I would. So, take that out of you, Will. The night concludes. I was so fucking faded. I remember I had to take an Uber home. With, and I think uh, my homie stayed at my house, or at least two of them did. Woke up the next day, and I remember that night, I hit up my plug. And I was like, yo, can I get more? <laughs> and uh, hit me up, like, right as I woke up in the morning. He's like, yeah, slide. And I woke up at, like, 8 a.m., and this was back when I didn't have a plug anywhere near me. So the drive was like three hours total, hour and a half each way. So I went around, got everyone up. I was like, yo, we need to go right here, right now. And I'm not driving because I'm paying. Hop in the homie's whip. We start driving. And this was the first time I ever really felt like that feeling in my stomach where it just like wouldn't go away. It's like, and now I know it's withdrawals. But yeah, so that shit sucked. And I just remember like as soon as I got the perk... We didn't even wait at all, bro. We busted down a half, and fucking, I did half of it. Other homie did half. And my stomach just, like, flipped. It was like, you know how when you sleep on your pillow, and one side gets really hot, and the other side's nice and cool, and you flip it, and you're like, ah. That's how my stomach was, bro. Like, as soon as I did that shit, it, like, flipped to the good side, which was, like, the scariest shit ever to me. I was like, that is not good. So, yeah, all in all... Definitely the best, most fun way to do perks. I wouldn't do it if I had the chance. I hope you guys can learn from this for me. Um, yeah, if you have any other... Um, I did this because of, you know, I saw your guys' comments and shit. You wanted me to talk about this. More than happy to do whatever the comments want me to do. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I love you so much. Thank you for all the support and sticking around. And hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.